Uh, well, first off, I, I want to thank uh, thank Minnesota, uh, their staff, and uh, fans uh, for making the trip out here. I know it's a uh, you know, we've been on the other side of the coin and had to go a long way on short notice and do some things. I uh, understand one of their players uh, probably affected them today. Uh, one of their best players, uh, Gron Wigan, was uh, out with a concussion. That's always tough, but they battled uh, battled all the way, and uh, Sarah Milton put up a good uh, performance today. I also want to thank uh, our administrators, um, the tournament organizer, Lisa Peterson, uh, Rob Mullins for being here, and uh, all the fans. Uh, it's tremendous. Uh, this really gets, uh, it made the difference. Uh, that was, uh, one talks about the sixth player in basketball. Well, that was our uh, big player right there. That was like our 11th player, I guess. Uh, made a big difference for us and really pumped us up. Um, so we're excited to take that next step, get down there to Oklahoma City. Um, you know, obviously a lot, the first time was like, hey, we're, wow, we're here. This time we want to go down, we want to make a statement. Uh, I understand we're almost one of the last few teams standing from the Pac-12 and we want to carry the flag for the Pac-12 and put up a good performance down there. Uh, thank you. I can't repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, it's just, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, she just made a mistake. Uh, it really wasn't about the, the, the hitter that hit the home run. It was the walk to number nine hitter. And I basically told her, you know, there's something that cannot happen. Uh, you know, they're going to hit their home runs. I mean, that's what they do. They're good hitters. But the walk to number nine hitter, you know, that's, that's the thing where you had to control. So from that point on, I think, I think she threw nine pitches and nine strikes. <laughs> so I told her, now, now I know it works. I'm going to do it more often. <laughs> so, yeah. But you made a visit. Well, you know, obviously she's a different person than Jess Moore. You know, Jess Moore would take a little different type of motivation, but sometimes it's just sharing. It's just snapping her out of a funk. Sometimes she starts thinking a little bit too much and, uh, yeah, thinks too much. I mean, just like most players, uh, they start to get their brain in the way and overthink things instead of just doing what they're trained to do. They do so many repetitions, so many hours of practice that things come naturally. Uh, your unconscious brain is a lot more powerful than your conscious brain, and that's what we try to, to remember is that they don't control the next pitch. You can't control what just happened or what may happen. It's about... Once you let go of the pitch, that's it. And so I just have to remind her about those types of things. Sarah, could you talk about after the home run you gave up, I think one more hit the best of the way, how were you feeling? Um, I definitely think that I started off not quite myself, but after, you know, that home run and the talk with Coach White and a talk with Janelle, I just decided that it was time to, like, bear down and go after it, and I was going to, to help get the team to OKC, I was going to have to change something. So I just tried to, you know, make that adjustment and attack the zone. You two have a pretty good rapport together. When she comes out, uh, again, a question is, what does she generally say to you? Is she talking about a mechanic, or is she talking about your frame of mind? It's just more like relax, and you know what you're doing. Like, you've thrown a 1,000 rise balls. You know what you're doing. Just throw another one. And then it's usually, like, aim at my knees and things like that, just small little phrases to, like, get me back in the zone. Jamie, does this – you talked a lot about last year's disappointment. Does this make up for it, or is this sort of just the start? Uh, with bigger things ahead? I think that we just use that as a learning experience and you know you can't go back in time and change anything so it's important for us to just move on and make sure that we did things the right way this year. What, what do you guys do right this year in comparison to last year? What, what is the main reason as to why you guys can finish this year? Definitely just taking um, it one pitch at a time, winning each pitch and when you stay in the moment it's a lot easier to um, just not get overwhelmed by the situation or listen to what other people are saying. So you think, would, you, would it be safe to say you guys are more mentally tough this year maybe in comparison to last year? I would agree with that, yeah. Can you compare and contrast the emotions that you feel? Um, she said she's too excited to talk. <laughs> <laughs> just, I mean, pure excitement and just ready to play the next game. Sure, you had uh, two big defensive plays there in the six. How does that feel as a pitcher to know that you're going to put the ball in play and the defense is going to get it? That's awesome. They did really good, Lex and Nikki, and even Courtney's play was really good. I think that, you know, that's one of the things that our team, it, like, prides on, like, our is defense, having solid defense. You know, when they put up no errors, we, we do well, and I think that those plays are great. Sure, did it get any easier for you to on the mound at all you know, as you progress throughout the series? Um, yes and no in the sense that, like, it's not easier because the team's still very good, but it's easier when I'm more relaxed, like I instead of hyping the game up so much. So I think once I started doing that, it got easier in a sense. Shane, speaking of relaxing, uh, they're kind of hanging around, hanging around. They're the under.
your dog, you're at home, you're expected to win. How important was Jamie's triple? Really important. I think that that kept the, we call it the mo, which is the momentum going. And her triple scoring those two runs was amazing. It it just kind of fueled us. And then, you know, you get that awesome out by Corinne to end the game. And I think that, you know, we might not have made that out had we not scored those other runs. You never know. So I think that that triple was huge. Jane, you got to look more productive day all around at the plate. You just seen the picture again? What, what was the difference there? Yesterday, I was nervous, to be honest, but, um, you know, sometimes that happens, and I just came out today knowing that, you know, it's just a game. I felt good at practice all week, batting practice, so just trusting my preparation and trusting that it's a new day and I'm still the same player. Mike, did you feel after Janie's, Janie's big hit that the dugout maybe took a breath, exhaled a little bit? Well, definitely, before we went out that inning, we said, you know, let's make sure we don't – one thing we didn't want to do is limp out of that game, you know, just kind of hanging on. We want to go out making a statement, and that's one of the things I said to the ladies, and we did. We came out with three straight hits, uh, so it was tremendous to do that. And, of course, they made the pitching change. And there's quite a bit of difference in velocity between Anderson and Moulton, so it takes an inning or two to get used to that velocity. So uh, I thought we did real well coming out and icing that game. Uh, it made me feel a lot more comfortable, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Uh, but I felt pretty confident that either way, Sheridan was going to slam the door. Jeannie, how about the play at the plate? How you, <laughs> you touched your hair? I saw a TV replay. They said that you may have touched you, but... I didn't feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> Sheridan, Jeannie said she's too excited to talk. What about you? Are you kind of formulate what it feels like knowing that you're going to OKC? I think it's just really exciting. This is obviously a new feeling for me, so I don't really know how to describe it. I'm really excited. I'm happy, you know, that we could get there for the seniors. I think that that's like one of the most important things for me is that they're going to finish at OKC and, you know, and also that their last game on Howe Field was a win. So I think that, I don't know, I'm just really happy that we could do that for them. Mike, you have an outline at all of how you're going to approach the World Series and what, um, motivations you're going to put out there on the table for the guys, for the ladies? Well, I think that, uh, you know, we, I think we can play with anybody that's going to be there. I mean, that's for sure. We, we know what we need to do as far as an offense. We need to know what we need to do as a defense and pitching. Uh, we play Florida State first game. Um, you know, they're, they're a good team. There's no doubt about that. Every team is going to be there's going to be a great, good team. Uh, but we just got to do the same process. There's no difference. We go down to Oklahoma City, it's still going to be 43 feet. It's going to be a 60 feet turn left. It's going to be a 12 inch ball, and away we go. And, uh, you know, we got as good a show as anybody. We got to make sure that uh, we stay aggressive, that we're not just there to kind of uh, hang on. We got to make sure we have the right frame of mind to go compete. Sharon, two record crowds in uh, two straight days. How did it feel? To hear the OKC chance. That was so cool. That was awesome. <laughs> our our crowd has done really good with like getting like active in the cheers and just being present in the game. And you know they give the umpire a hard time. They give the other team a hard time, and they're always cheering for us. So I think it's awesome. The crowd's awesome.